Hey there, it's Dave Altavilla for Hot Hardware. You know, we haven't done a whole lot of unboxing of things here at Hot Hardware over the years, quite frankly because we felt the trend was a little bit overdone sometimes. However, shortly after their Core i7-5960X Haswell E Extreme Edition processor launch, our friends at Intel contacted us about a box of their own they wanted us to take a look at, and quite frankly, this thing's kind of freaky looking, so let's take a look, unbox it, and hopefully there's some hot Intel hardware inside. First, why don't we extract the contents of the box that was shipped to us. It's your average cardboard box, you know, but there's definitely something unusual inside. And look at this. It's some sort of alien space pod capsule kind of thing. It looks pretty official, and it even comes with an AC adapter. So there are a few more items in that box, and it looks like we have at least a partial kit of components here with motherboard, RAM, and a flyer from Intel's Enthusiast Computing Group, hinting at what potentially might be in that alien pod. So we've got some crucial DDR4 memory apparently here, and again we've got an Intel flyer highlighting Pro Performance. Achieve championship status, it says, with the new 8-core Intel Core i7 processor. Championship status. I'm all about that. Just put me in, coach. And finally, the Asus X99 Deluxe motherboard is here, and this is based on Intel's recently released X99 Express chipset and comes with a number of Asus bundled features like 802.11ac Wi-Fi, their Hyper M.2 X4 adapter for converting PCI Express by four slot connections to an M2 interface for M2 mini SSD cards, and the Asus OC socket with extra CPU pins for grounding, less voltage droop, and overclocking performance. And taking a closer look at Crucial's DDR4 memory here, we see we've actually got a 16 gig kit of four 4 gig modules rated at 2133 megahertz. As you can see, versus this older DDR3 DIMM, the notch layout between the two PCBs is slightly offset. Regardless, all told, a quad-channel DDR4 2133MHz setup with this crucial RAM can offer up to a whopping 45 gigs a second of memory bandwidth. According to our recent tests of the new Intel Haswell E platform, the X99 chipset, and DDR4 memory, so stop by hothardware.com to check that out. And taking a peek under the hood of the Asus X99 Deluxe motherboard box. Yep, there's a motherboard in there, all right. And the inside of the lid of the motherboard box also, of course, highlights more of those custom Asus features that optimize stable performance and overclocking. But let's free the Asus X99 Deluxe from its plastic static bag. And the first thing you'll notice is that this is a heavy, well-built board with stylish black and white accents. Here's the Asus OC socket that we spoke of earlier with that modified version of the Intel LGA 2011-3 socket for Haswell E Core i7 Extreme Edition processors. And the board has some serious heavy-duty heat sinks mounted to the MOSFET and VREG power arrays around the CPU socket. On the back side, you'll see the I.O. panel has a ton of USB 3 ports, 10 to be exact, with two USB ports, dual gigabit ethernet LAN ports, Wi-Fi antenna connectors, and the standard assortment of surround sound audio and optical audio outputs. On the top edge of the board is Asus's Crystal Sound 2 integrated audio system that comes with extra shielding around the circuit area to minimize noise and crosstalk. There are five full-length PCI Express slots on the X99 Deluxe, and they have a nice latching mechanism to hold things like graphics cards and whatnot in place firmly, but also allow you to release uh, the card when pressed down, similar very much in the way a DIMM slot works, a memory DIMM slot. Also on the board edge is a wide assortment of features like power and reset switches, clear CMOS, and a debug LED display to show error codes. And that's the Asus X99 Deluxe motherboard, a solid foundation for any Haswell E-based system for sure. All right, it's the moment you've all been waiting for, hopefully. What exactly is inside that blue alien capsule pod thingy that Intel sent us? 
What do you say we find out? Good idea. First, I'm going to plug it in because it came with an AC adapter and, you know, just guessing. I'm going to turn this here valve thing up top and line up these red arrows like that. Oh, it seems to be counting down some sort of, oh, okay. Oh, it lights up more. It likes to blink a lot of lights. It's blinking faster. I'm going to back away now. Please don't blow up. <laughs> Something rises from within. What? What might it be? Why, it's a little blue box and it says, Intel, look inside. Okay, fair enough. It's an unboxing, we can do that. And underneath it's another box and it says, Intel Solid State Drive 730 Series Performance Unleashed. Impressive. And a little crooked. Hang on. Okay. That says 240 GB. That stands for gigabytes. That's what I'm guessing because it's a solid state drive. So 240 gig solid state drive, just a hunch, but I think we need to unbox it. Very impressive, Intel. It's quite a little alien capsule thing you've got there to house your components. Let's unbox some more, shall we? All right, I'm going to attempt to extract the boxes from the Intel alien capsule. That wasn't so bad. I got that little blue fella out of there, and I'm guessing that's a processor, but we don't know because we haven't unboxed it yet. Well, that's what you do with an unboxing. And let's extract this one. It takes a little bit more force. I don't want to break this expensive-looking Intel Alien capsule thing. And I did extract the Intel Solid State Drive 730 series. At least that's what it says in the box. Unless they're lying, they could be. So we'll have to unbox this too, because I'm feeling crazy, and I've got an Intel Alien capsule in the studio with me. Let's unbox these little boxes next. Little boxes, little boxes, and they're all made out of ticky-tacky little boxes, little boxes. And they all look just the, well, these don't look the same at all now, do they? Why don't we unbox this little fella first, and I'll, uh, I'll stop the singing and do you all a favor. All right. Uh, is indeed a processor looking thing. Let's extract it further. Conductive plastic casing. And, yep, behold, this would be an Intel Core i7 5960X octa core, octal, eight cores, three gigahertz. Haswell E processor, the fastest desktop chip money can buy currently. And it's beautiful, it's brand new and on bottom here are the, uh, the pads for the LGA land grid array for Intel's 8 core. Core i7-5960X Haswell E, Extreme Edition for Extreme Performance Processor. Very nice. Let's uh, put that aside. And we'll open the next little box. Where they told us it was an Intel Solid State Drive 730. Let's see if they're lying. And... Indeed, they're not. This is Intel's 730 series SSD freshly wrapped. Look at this. It's like, it's like opening a bag of Cheez-Its. It's beautiful. Mm. And uh, that is Intel's Extreme Skull. Extreme Performance, Performance Unleash, whatever you want to call it. This is the 730 series SSD by Intel. It's a serial ATA 240 gig SATA SSD. Quick, very quick solid state drive. Plug this in your system, whether it be desktop or laptop as a boot drive and watch Windows or whatever OS of choice 
you desire. Watch it fly. With the kit, you also get a little SATA cable here. Looks like some screws for a mountain and some drivers on a tiny little CD. Isn't that cute? And Speed Demon. Solid State Drive, Intel.com, Go SSD. Excellent. That's right, people. We've successfully unboxed an entire high performance system's worth of components to set up for a build with Intel's latest 8 core Haswell E Core i7 Extreme Edition processor. And we even survived an alien uprising in the process. I call that a win. We'll be assembling the system in the next few weeks to show you what it's capable of, but in the meantime, stop by hothardware.com for our full review of the Intel Core i7 5960X Extreme Edition processor with all of our benchmark data, system coverage, and analysis. And then stop by Intel's Pro Performance site at inte.ly slash unbox to check out battle-ready combos and systems unlocked for overclocking and performance. It's Dave Altavilla with Hot Hardware and the Intel 8-Core Core i7 Extreme Edition processor Thanks for stopping by.